Ready for the latest edition of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and today, as you see, I'm looking at UCLA offensive tackle Colt Miller. This is the first one of these breakdowns. I'm actually getting in on an offensive lineman. I've waited too long. I know some people have said, hey, my favorite team needs offensive linemen. Can you can you break some of those down? And I got your first one here, you know. Um, and so we're going to look at Colton Miller. He's a junior. He declared for the draft. Maybe surprised some people. You know, he's a big guy, six foot eight, 310 pounds. So maybe some questions of how he is at that size. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to take a look at maybe some of the things he does well. Maybe a few areas that he has some concerns at or that I have some concerns at here. So this first clip that we're going to look at, Colton Miller's their left tackle. He took over this past year uh, for uh, – McDermott, um, who who left after last year, a guy that I kind of liked as maybe a late round guy, um, really kind of struggled, especially in that Senior Bowl, um, and then didn't end up getting drafted too too early. So um, he kind of makes the jump here, and so he's the left tackle. And this first clip I'm going to show you is um, so kind of his his ability, and he uses his size well. So we kind of take a look at this uh, here. Colt Miller, he's going to actually take a false step. So as you look right here, his first movement is forward. And usually you want that to be back, to j make a good jump off the line. If this pass rusher is coming with speed, uh, your ability to beat him and, and, and get set and cut off that corner. Um, so he takes a false step. But what I like is he's able to quickly recover and use his length to engage. He cuts off that pass rusher with his length, with his strength, and he's able to shut him completely down, allow Rosen to make that throw um, to put him along the goal line. So if we kind of look at that real quick once again. Okay. He takes that first false step forward, but he's able to recover nicely, lock down the defender. Um, the next clip is actually this very next play, and these, uh, it's going to kind of show his run blocking ability and at six foot eight it's hard to really get good leverage you know most of these guys that you're playing against are six foot six at the most you know a lot of six foot four six foot three guys so it's really hard to get low pad level and really uh, get the leverage and drive them off the ball so as you see here on um, the play kind of already started already but he's he's right here he's gonna use his size and then his leg strength and he's just gonna lean on that defender and just kind of push him back by his sheer volume alone. Um, he's got that ability, that strength, that if he could just kind of lean on you, he's going to move you because of that size. Um, another example of that is is right here. Okay, So here he is. Um, they got a tight end on his side. He's going to drive this guy back. As we look, he gets good, you know, good leverage for him. Good knee bend. He's not bending at the waist. He engages at the shoulders. And he's just going to drive this guy back. And it's not like he's putting him on skates, but he's got that ability. He's got the big, strong hands that he can lock onto you and then just keep moving you because of his sheer size and, and that lower body strength. Um, a, a little bit of some of the concerns I have. I showed you how he was able to recover from that false step. Okay, um, Here's a play that he kind of he struggled with some speed. And as we see here... Okay, he's gonna get caught leaning. Okay, he's kind of got flat-footed. He's kind of bending at his waist. Um, throughout this game, he did a pretty good job of of bending at his knees, keeping his upper body straight, um, or at least slightly bent. Um, here, he's caught bending at his waist, and he's exposed. This pass rusher is able to get quickly around him. Um, didn't necessarily get the hit on Josh Rosen, but you wonder. Um, did that have an effect at all on his pass? See it here again. He just gets caught leaning and gets beat with speed. Um, another example of that is uh, his sometimes his lack of foot quickness. You know, we saw it in that first clip here. So here he is once again on that left side. And you just look, and his just feet are just kind of slow. And he's able to engage with them, but he needed that running back to come over and make that stop. Um uh, so where do I see Colton Miller? I mean, I like him. I think he's got tools. I think he can eventually be a starter. I'm not sure he's a guy that you come in and plug him in day one. You know, maybe he is. Um, maybe he has to play some right side. 
you know, the whole idea of, oh, we got the quick light-footed guy on the left side and the and the big heavy-footed run mauler on the right side of offensive tackle. I think those those days are long gone. You, if you um, you know, you got a lot of pass rushers on your as left defensive ends now. Um, so you need guys with good feet on both sides. I think Colt Miller's got good feet. I think he maybe needs to clean up some of his technique, uh, improve on his fundamentals a little bit better. Um, I think maybe he can. He's a guy that's probably going to go on that right side, just because you know that's still a side that you run a lot to. You have your tight ends more, um, so you may be able to chip a little bit. Um, but I think he's a guy that's going to be able to play tackle. I think he's going to go pretty early. I'm not sure if it's a first round pick like I've seen some mocks. I like him better in that second and third round, you know, maybe a late second, early third um, type of guy. Um, he's got the length that helps. He's got, you know, decent footwork. Um, I think he can be good. It's just I think it's he's going to take a little bit of time. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, the best way to get these is to subscribe here on YouTube. They come to you right away. Um, they have them uh, up on NFLDraftGeek.com, so that's a great place to see them. You can see all of them right there in a the list. Um, I tweet them out, at Draft underscore Brian on Twitter, um, at NFLDraftGeek also. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.